By the end of this video, your player will be able to collide with an object and it will kill him and respawn him. Hey guys, Blakey here and welcome back to another video. Today I've got another Unity tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be working on a system which kills the player on trigger enter. And on trigger enter is when you enter an object that has a collider on with the trigger set to true. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean in this nice and easy tutorial that should not take long to learn and master. So the way we're going to do it, when it collides with this big red object that we've got called kill player, it will collide with it and it will respawn the scene. So instead of teleporting the player, it will just restart the whole scene. And this is quite useful to use if you've got certain levers or platforms that are moving and you want everything reset every time the player dies, which is seen in most games rather than just teleporting the player back to the start of the level if uh, certain objects in the scene need to be reset. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So before we start scripting this, we're going to go ahead and go to our kill player, which is just purely a red cube that's all it is and we're going to go ahead and add a comp uh, a component and that is going to be a box collider 2d so this is for a 2d game obviously so if you're using a 3d game you choose box collider without the 2d and if we go ahead and edit the collider which is this button right here we don't need to change anything because it's already exactly where we want it to be which is pretty good and the last thing we've got to do is go ahead and press is trigger and we're going to go and tick that big box and finally before we go ahead and start coding to save you doing this later go ahead to your player which i assume you already have a movement script for if you don't go ahead and check out a video i have made on it previously and all you're going to do is go to this tag button up here right at the top of your inspector and click player if you don't have this player tag go ahead and press add tag and you can add one with this little button here okay that is everything we're going to need to do if you see i go ahead and press play it will just overpass uh, this layer and it will not hit it or collide with it that's because our box collider is set to trigger if it wasn't it would collide and we would just hit it but nothing would happen and obviously we want to make it respawn so go ahead and press create c sharp script and we're going to call, uh, call this kill player just like that Go ahead and open this up, double click and it will open Visual Studios or Mono Develop, depending on what you're using. And you can see we've got a very simple script here. So the first thing we are going to do, because we're working with scenes, we need to add a extra uh, method at the top. So we're going to be using using Unity Engine dot scene management because we are managing scenes. Go ahead and save that up. And now we're going to go to our start function and we're going to leave it completely because nothing is going to be called at the start of the scene because we're going to be using this as a separate void for on trigger enter. So the first thing we're going to do is declare a public integer. So go ahead and type in public int and we're going to call this next scene. Actually, we are going to call this respawn if I can spell. Here we go. Go ahead and put a semicolon. And we're going to declare this in Unity. So the public integer will be whatever it is in your build, whatever the scene number is in your build end index. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. So go ahead and ignore the void update and the void start. We don't need either of those. You can get rid of them if it makes it easier. And what we are going to type in is void on trigger enter 2D, just like that. And we don't need it to be private. So go ahead and get rid of that private. And we're going to change the Collider 2D collision. You see, we're going to change that to other because it's not the subject we're using when we collide with a different object, not if we collide, if they collide with us. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So if we type in now, if other.compare tag is player, because remember we named our player uh, the play we gave our player the player tag so that so this line basically means if our if the cube collides with anything that has a tag player then do this function and we're going to use scene manager dot load scene and we're just going to call the scene that we called right up here so respawn and we can go ahead and save this so I'm going to run you through this. So obviously we declared a public integer. So whatever we call this, 
in our Unity, it will load that scene because we called it down here. So we're going to add this script to our cube, our def cube. So from the cube's eyes, if it collides with anything that has the tag player, it will load the scene that we called, which is basically going to be the same scene that we're in. So we're going to just call the same scene that we're in and it will just respawn that scene and give the impression of a death. So if we go straight back over to Unity and we're going to drag our kill player script right over to our kill player and now you're going to see we're going to have a little respawn integer. We have it set to zero and that is actually what we want because this is the first scene. For you guys it may be different if you have a main menu script, other scenes and stuff like that. So if you go up to your file in the top left, go ahead and press build settings, you can see we've got a few settings here. So ignore everything apart from the scenes and build. So we're currently using a sample scene. Well, this That's what they called it, but this is our first scene. And you can see it says that at the top. So this is the scene. And you can see we've got a number here. If we had another scene just below it, they'd call it one because everything that is one starts at zero in Unity. And that's just how coding and programming uh, works with numbers. So this scene starts at zero. So whatever that number is, we want to have as our respawn. So obviously that is why ours is just set to zero already. So we don't need to change anything. So now if you see, we go ahead and jump straight into our player. Our scene respawns, which is a pretty nice feature. The minute we hit it, we do collide. Now this can be altered for many ways, such as a camera shake and etc. So I'll thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.